Yes. Good evening, Espresso fam. It is Wednesday, March 13th, and James Benedict has the latest. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear intranet. What would we do without you? (laughs) Isn't that right? It's the intranet's birthday. Yes, it's 30. Ah, May may I say dirty 30? (laughs) You know, that kinky side. Very dirty of of the the internet. Don't check my history when the wife's gone. Right, Right. (laughs) 89.com. Just not what you think it is. That was the first one ever. Yeah, definitely not for the rookies. Because I remember the first time I forgot forgot to delete my cookies. <laughs> Computer crash. Yeah. Enjoy. This story is what you'd call kit. Uh, never underestimate the power of the World Wide Web. Yes. This past weekend, a kid named Billy Did basically you- turned his father into a celeb. Right. Mm. Billy shared a picture on Twitter, and this is what he said. My dad's sad because no one is coming into his donut shop. Mm, Saw this, yes. Yeah, well, by Sunday, that place was as busy as my desktop. (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) Billy's dad's shop is officially up and running. They sold out of everything, and there's no signs of it being gone. And you know what, Joy? That story just made me want a green filled long john. Mm, gonna have to stop Aren't those, there yeah, this yeah. morning on the way. Yeah. Right. Not the custard, though. <laughs> you ever get tricked and it's custard? Forget about Sayonara. it. Sayonara. Right. Sucker. Right. right. <laughs> I don't know if I buy that, James. The uh, I feel like that was just they opened up the store and no one was there, so they used the internet uh, to their advantage. Some people are oh too good at that. Gosh. I wish we were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. Well, James, the Colts aren't. Excuse me. <clears throat> the Colts. There we go. Now you're talking my language. Aren't looking for frosted flakes in free agency, so they brought in Devin Funches of Oats to bring some <laughs> Cheerios to Captain Andrew Luck Crunch. We'll pour ourselves another bowl of free agency Fruit Loops coming up at 11. Uh, good signing there for uh, Chris Ballard. They're going to be serial killers in here. <laughs> Every week I lay them up for you, James, and you just knock them right Slam out. Slam them home oh, just like an old God. donut, right? <laughs> All right, shot 59. That was uh, That's what you call just some... Real quick headlines, like some five minute before the show headlines from Molinard. Our show is just five minutes before the show. Scramble show. That's every week. Jimmy King, this week, UND and Southside God. Not even his name. What? I, I'm still confused about that. And you're going to hear about it later, but it is his name. It's like my name being Joseph and being called Joey. I don't think James being and called Jimmy Joey. makes it. It's got to like have the word in it still for yeah, me. Yeah, but it's the... It's just a kid, like, shorter. I like Jimmy. I like Jimmy because I like the name Jimmy because I like the the car. Remember the? It's more fun. The SUV. It's so much more fun. James? That's a serious-ass name. That's a business card. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nameplate Jimmy's a party. Right. You're going to a meeting with James. You're going to the Uh, bar with Jimmy. And it's one of those, you're like... (laughs) Why do they say Jimmy it? Like, you ever have that happen where you can't get a lock? Like your car key is stuck. I got Jimmy that yeah. thing. That's something my mom would right. always say. Parents for Front sure. Front door's like, can you Jimmy Just it? Just Jimmy it a little bit with a credit card too. Has that ever worked? No, the I credit sw- card's too thin. Dude, my grandma used to Jimmy some shit. Yeah, she used to pull out the Visa. Near a way in. Those are some old. I have no school. idea how. Like how? How would you ever do that? I don't know. I'm not buying it. Just Jimmy your way in there. It's movie stuff. But yeah. We uh, jimmied our way into Jimmy, and we have a little convo uh, with him. So that's good. We got a little uh, comic, comic creeps. Mackenzie Roth. Oh. Andy Moore. Yeah. Andy Moore. 
The Andy Moore chick, you know her. You see her all the time. She's all over like local broadcasts and everything. Pacers games. You watched the Pacer game last night. Guarantee you saw her. Is she in the crowd? No, oh, she's, she's on not, okay, TV, okay, okay, dude. Okay. Come on, man. Jeez. I thought she was at the game. Yeah, uh, St. Paddy's is this weekend. St. Paddy's versus Halloween. A little unpopular opinions. Some best name action. We got it all, bro. What's going on? Dude, I'm... Actually, real quick. Sorry. YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to that. Espresso fam, search it in. This YouTube's, is going to be up we're, there. We're about to pop off You're on listening YouTube. to it on YouTube. We're about to pop off. We're about to be YouTube. Just... Uh, just hit that little subscribe, baby. Do us a little favor. I know it's annoying, but just subscribe to all our shit. Yeah, it's not that annoying though. Like we got, we got our yeah, interviews, okay. we got our annoying. shows, just do we it. got our videos. Just do it. Espresso fam, YouTube, cool. What were you saying, <laughs> dude? I'm ca- I'm Captain Cough. I'm yeah. I have Grandpa Cough. Big time. You're giving it to me. You got it so bad. I don't know what to do. It's just, are, you, are you sleeping? I'm sleeping hard as ever dude fluids like i'm sleeping so hard like my dreams are messing me up i'm yeah. like thinking about my dreams i never have dreams what's like, it when mean I, if you do because i have dreams pretty often am i okay is that good you're just getting some good sleep dude yeah i think that's what that i'm not means. really ever that tired so i'm in it i'm tired hey yesterday was national nap day monday was naps screw me up man I can't take a nap without being like, well, I wake up and I'm full of fear. Like you're late for something? Like I'm late. Like I'm like, why am I sleeping when I have all this shit to do? Like, uh, yeah, you're bad about that. Me, not so much, but I will forever, whenever I would wake up from a nap, I'm like, <laughs> late for a shift. I'm late. Yeah, you don't know where you are. And I, my dreams during naps are just like, what was that? Like I wake up and I, it was just, it's just the, the grossest, weirdest, like, I don't know. I have weird nap dreams, and they're never good. Nap day yesterday, though? Come on. Such an eye roll. No, any of those days are eye rolls. Any Naps? like Any day that's a day that they just made up, like donut day, pizza so, day. So sleepy. People are so sleepy. I don't know. It's like we, you have eight hours literally devoted at night to sleep. You got to have a day to sleep some more. Usually when I sleep at night, I don't have any, like, I can't remember anything. I just, I'm like, okay. And I wake up and I don't remember anything. But this past week, I've been, like, trying to sleep hard. Dreams that are messing me. I'm thinking about them. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Do you do the old write them when you get up? Like, I write should. Them down? Everybody's always like, if you want to remember your dreams, dude, they'll tell you something. You write them down. As soon as you wake up, you write everything down you remember. I'm like, ah. It's a, they're just dreams. When like, I'm When I wake up. I'm like paralyzed. I'm like, uh, I can't do anything. Like it's hard for me to like check my phone. I'm like, uh, to reach over there takes a while, dude. To get a notebook out and a pen and like have it there and like write like a real paragraph, my handwriting would be shit. That's why. That's why old people get up so early because it takes them so long to get out of bed. Really? The older you get, <laughs> not really. I'm just saying, like the older you get, I feel like it's less easy for you to be able to get up, like just spring up out of bed. Yeah, old right? people do get up early. I like that about old people. Because like you think old people will just be snooze snooze lords. Right. I mean, like, they, they'll they get up at 4 a.m. or 4.30. It takes till 5.30 to get out of bed. Get up at 4.30, out of bed at 6 a.m. I like that about old people. And they and old people don't really go to bed that early either. You know, they're, they can kind of hang. They can kind of scrape till 11 if, like, yeah. there's a game on and your cousins are over. Yeah. Just got a doctor's appointment confirmation on my phone. Sorry. But you're right. It's either sleeping too much or they're not sleeping But enough. during the day, they're nap gods. You yeah. know what I mean? Always. Wake up, Grandpa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> during Head a game. All the way back. <laughs> recliner Jesus all the way right. up. In the middle of everything. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Grandpa cough, though. I've got loafers. <laughs> 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 you like them? You wear I, them without socks? No, like you're at I the can't Grammys. Do that. I can't do that. Man. Everybody wants to though. Ah, it's just because you wish you could. You okay? You don't have the pants. Nobody I, has the pants. I don't have the pants, but it would feel cool and feel all right when you first slide them on. You're like walking around the house. You're like, ooh, ah, man, this looks good. This feels good on my feet. No socks two, and loafers. Two hours. Yeah, two hours into it, when you're walking around Broad Ripple, your feet are sweaty as hell. That's a gross feeling. Ruin those shoes. Yeah, that's enough. That's a that's you can get away with wearing no socks and loafers 
at like a big red carpet thing. Those people, there's never any complaints about that. Or do they have little mini socks on? Well, they could have those little mini socks on. But what I'm saying is that if you don't wear those mini socks, your shoes are screwed. Yeah. Really. You can only wear, wear them so 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 often because then once you wear them enough, you can't take them off because then your feet feet will stick up the whole place. I realize this about like nice clothes. You can't be active in nice clothes at all. Like you can barely even walk in nice clothes without yeah. messing them up, wrinkling them. You can't at the start. Once you settle into it and they get used to it a little bit, then you can. Or when you, you first you when you first suit up, throw on the jacket, throw on the dress shirt, get the tie, you get into your car and it's like you you're wearing bubble wrap. That's the worst part about dress clothes. In, you're sitting there so stiff you can't even breathe. But then by the end of the night, it's just like anything else. They loosen up. They, you you break them yeah, in. Yeah, you break them in. Like shoes at finish line. Right, but you have to break them in. I never see kids doing that anymore. By the way, you have to break them in every time though. Shoes, they slowly but surely, because you wear them so often, you break them in. You don't wear a dress shirt unless you're, you know, working in finance. You don't wear a dress shirt and dress uh, pants every day. So then it's like, okay, got to get used to each other. Got to feel each other out a little bit now. I hate getting all ready, good, going like I'm prom, and then getting in your car. Oh, dude, it's so bad. Like, what? Just after just, all that, I'm just gonna get in my car and wrinkle my ass up. Just pack, my ass, literally, just, just the whole thing. Pack me up in like a Christmas tree box, slide me into the back, so I'm just laying down. It's like a freaking coffin. Rather go, rather go there, take a nap on the way. Just kill me on the way there. The process of putting on your seatbelt while you have your suit and your dress stuff on, it's the worst thing ever. Kiss it goodbye. I don't like, uh, I hate that. It seems so like, it seems so reverse order. What were you talking would about you before ever, that? Would you ever do loafers though? It just has to be the right right time right thing yeah i like it i, I mean i don't really know what loafers are i guess but it's not it's not like the sperry boat shoe it's just like a, dress a slide shoe. on dress shoe uh slide on shoes i don't know what what's wrong with slide on I, shoes I, just, I don't know they just gotta i just gotta see them i just thought of the worst slide on shoes ever that my dad has That's <laughs> when he said that so i was like no, i can't <laughs> i think i think they'd be all right i gotta give me a black pair i got a brown pair how about um, wow, I almost said it. When people wear jeans and like any type of running shoe, it's the nerdiest thing ever. And, and then, people keep doing it. And then a blazer. That's ridiculous. <laughs> do they do that? Yeah. Why is it why is it there's always a guy, everyone's wearing jeans every eight seconds, but there's always a guy like there's shoes you wear with jeans. Mm-hmm. Like jeans approved shoes. Yeah. Yeah, je- yeah, you can wear those with jeans. You can wear those with jeans. Some people wear like ASICs, like strings tied, like they're about to run in a marathon. Why Makes Why no do people sense. still do that? Makes no sense. But, like, but people are doing, like ladies a lot. I'm like, you can't wear those with those. It's like eating cereal with orange juice instead of milk. It just, it doesn't make sense. No matter how, how you want to spin it, it just doesn't. I can't believe I keep seeing it. You can have, like, the coolest, like, running shoes of all time. Like, some running shoes that aren't even running shoes, that are, aren't even meant for running. Still look stupid. Big white sole. No, yeah. You gotta, it, it's it's very, it's very one or the other. You gotta be wearing joggers or, or a track suit, you know, like a jumpsuit with those kind of shoes. And then with jeans or khakis, you gotta be able to have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a casual shoe. Whether it's a high top Jordan or, you know, a boot. I want to get to the point where I can just wear J's, like Jordans with anything. I guess with a suit. No, can't, can't no I'm not into that. I'm not into that at no, all. I can't do it. can't do it. With a suit. I hate more than anything watching the college basketball pregame show and seeing Jay Williams and Jay Billis wearing some weird old school Nike shoes with their suits. Like, hey, guy. You're it's standing up for about 10 minutes of the show. Suck it up and put on some dress shoes. Dress pants when people are sitting down, too. They yeah. they rise so high. <laughs> Dude, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like you're wearing shorts, practically, by the time that they're all the way up. You you better have some high-ass socks if you're wearing dress pants. Or you just wear no socks at all. You wear loafers. <laughs> hey, you're a Michigan guy. Devin Funches to the Colts from the headline. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, 
Chiller's got to be happy. Everybody wanting a you know big bodied receiver, dude, right. six four. I think uh, I think the I think Andrew Luck will turn him into something. Yeah, for sure. Was he tight at Michigan? He kind of was, right? Mm-hmm. They had a weird team then. Yeah. So that's why I've always been like, Funch is tight, but I don't know. Probably a quarterback that couldn't really get him the ball. I think it was Devin Gardner. Is Michigan ever going to have a tight quarterback? That was number 98. Yeah. I know. I hate that. I hate that. But yeah, I'm hype about that. That's cool. Yeah. Pfizer. Cool. For sure. Um, Different name. Yeah. It's a, it's a hype pickup, honestly. For sure. It's a hype pickup. Yeah. What if the days of the week were people? Specific people? No, just like, how do you describe a Monday? <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Who would be a Monday? Yeah, like what kind of person? An IT guy? Just like a real... Dirt. There's nothing more It's like a real dry nerd. Like... That or over the top guy? No. Yeah. It is perfect for Monday. You're just like not again, not this guy. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, like Monday as always, he's wearing everybody's jeans. wearing jeans and running shoes. Everybody's on the same page of like a uh, Monday, but then you got the guy that's just like, whoa. <laughs> as the weekend was good, and mine was good too. I heard this the other day. Yeah. How's it going? Not fast enough. <laughs> Nice. I, like, I got to get out of here. Nice. Good. Who's Tuesday then? Tuesday's the wild card. Tuesday is the person that... Tuesday's probably somebody like me. Like some days you're kind of like, does he hate everybody? But then other days you're like, okay, kind of fun. Cool. Kind of different outlook today. Maybe sometimes. Yeah. Tuesday's a, a weird person. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get mm-hmm. Tuesday. You can have a random really awesome Tuesday, or it's just like, this is just, I'm in like the purgatory Tuesday's of like your college girlfriend. <laughs> you're just like, where where is she going to be here? Where, where are we at? Where are we going to, yeah, yeah, you never know. What where, am I going to get? Right. Woo! Because like the weekend is, you know, your, your past hookups or hangouts or whatever you want to call it. And they were kind of fun, kind of crazy. The Tuesdays, like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm closely removed from that. But is she lasting the whole week? I don't know. Just keep her on. T- what about Wednesday? Middle of the week. Mm-hmm. There's some hope, but there's still yeah. some shit to do. Mm-hmm. Who's that person? Wednesday's cool boss. Cool boss is in like you can sit there and talk to him for an hour about some cool fun ideas. And you're like, should we be working? And then at the end they'll be like, you know, you'll have you'll be like, Oh man, this is awesome. I love this. This is great. I'm excited to be at work. And then And then at the end they're like, Hey, um, we really need to get this done by the end of the day. Can you do that for so me? You're like, oh yeah, and it's like Any, two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, it's like okay. it's like two oh, hours. Yeah. I'm I'm on it. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure. Hey, good good talking to you though. Yeah, you have like an hour and a like half me? to do it. Am I fired? <laughs> that's that's that. Yeah. Kind of never know if you're okay, if you're going to be fired or not at work. That's how I've been in my whole life at every place I've worked. Yeah, the every more day I, I'm like, I kind of think I might be fired. Maybe. Yeah. You get like your fired meter in your head. Yeah. Do you have that? Are things going okay? Am I getting too many emails? If you're getting too many emails, you're like, it's over. Fired vibe. Yeah. Feeling the fired vibe. <laughs> I felt fired vibe lately. But at the same time, you know, it's like you grow into anything just like you did back in school. You know, and uh, when you're Take a shot! <laughs> when you're in fifth grade, you're like, oh my God, middle school. Middle school is going to be grade, so dude. hard. How am I going to make it? What was the hardest grade? Hold on, hold on. It's you, And then once you get to middle school, you're, you're like, like, hold on, hold on. Sixth grade. But once you get. <laughs> sixth grade, we'll stay. I got a D minus in space. Was that the hardest grade? grade? Like hard, hardest on like your. Academic? Every, academically and just you as a person. Ooh. Sports, girls, sports. <laughs> <laughs> sports. Sports, or girls. my life. Uh. Everything, family, just you know, that party, puberty, yeah. grossest word ever seventh for grade. the grossest seventh thing grade, ever. thousand percent seventh grade. But 
you're in sixth grade you're like, or fifth grade, you're like, oh my God, that's got to be so tough. And then you get to eighth grade, you're like, this is all a freaking piece of cake, man. You're this such, is a walk in the park. You're such a stud, eighth grade. But then dude. in eighth grade, you're thinking, oh my God, high school. How am I going to do this? How am I going to get good enough grades to go to college? How am I going to study on my own to be able to write a paper that's like 15 pages long? That was always the the, the big thing. Then you get into high school and you're like, ah. High school, not dude. that bad. High school was tough. It's like that with every every phase of life. Every you know, so it's like when you get to the workplace, you're like, <gasps> my boss is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna get fired. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna get fired. But you're like, ah, okay. I, if I mess something up, I'm probably not gonna get fired. Like it's just like in school. A couple years in school, I was like, I might fail. Did you ever think that? Like, oh yeah, I might have to read sixth might- grade, dude. I got a D minus in Spanish. Is that the biggest fear in school ever? Like, I, I might be the kid that is, gets held back. I, I might get held back. I, my mom would always be like, "You're gonna get held back." I told my friends when I got that grade in Spanish, I was like, "Don't tell your parents. I don't want them to think badly of me." D minus in Spanish. Yeah. That's like okay though. Like that's understandable because it's a different language. <laughs> yeah, but it's so just like como estas, you know. If you got like a D minus in English, it'd be like, oh, okay. you you're gonna be real, really good at kickball compared to the other kids next year because you're gonna be 15 in fifth grade, <laughs> dude. But uh, seventh grade was tough. Why was seventh grade tough for you? Seventh grade, it was. Yeah, seventh grade was. Just that's trying like to figure it out. That's like peak puberty. The eighth graders are top dog, and you're still like you're up there, but you're still not there. It, it's 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 weird. There's a lot of different things going on, a lot of different hormones and changing. And seventh grade was rough on me because literally Coach Kirkhoff. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was. That's what I'm saying. That's, I was his bitch. That that's another thing for like me and you specifically, but like anybody else who, if you played up or something, like you were on a seventh and eighth grade team. You were always one of the, you know, you were the youngest one. You were one of the minorities in the oldest group with the eighth graders. So I was like, oh, God. It was, it was, it was like that. I didn't really have a year like that in high school. Like academically, I was never like, this was the hardest year. Probably freshman year. I don't do well with change, like adjustments like that. Like I'm used to going somewhere for this long. All of a sudden, freshman year, holy shit, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa! Got this, and I got a dress. I got how overwhelming was freshman year? And yeah. some people acted like it wasn't shit. I was like, how do you know all this already, dude? I was, I was out. I was I, on a I different didn't know planet. Anything? So I was like, how the hell am I going to get to this class? Like it seemed like people were like, oh, you just go to the stairs, it's just right there on the left. It's like, dude, it's going to take me. 15 minutes to find that. Yeah. And I'm going to have to ask a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what to ask. Yeah. The locker combinations. Tough. Hitting you right off the foot. Fu- hold on. My, my, hold on. Just left mine unlocked. Who didn't? Hitting you right in the face right when you walk in freshman year. First picture day. First day. Like, <laughs> wow. Could anything be worse than right before picture day? What's your locker combination that you forgot in one of those papers back home in the folder? Right yeah, off the dude. bat. And then you, and oh, you're, man. how sweaty are you? Yeah, you're sweaty. That's awkward That's because all I remember between seventh grade and freshman year is just sweat, sweat all the time. So concerned about your armpits being sweaty, sweat and razor burn. That's oh, kind of like God. if I had a book. So <laughs> you're on the cover. Comedy spe- That's my first special. You're on the cover and your arms are lifted up and they're just pit stains, just sweaty. No doubt. Yeah, dude, that was bad. That and zits. Freshman year of high school. Ooh, baby. Are they ever going to stop? Yeah. And it's so weird, too, because you look at, like, people who are juniors and seniors, and they're so much older. They feel like just straight-up adults. The change that happens from the time that you're a freshman to a senior in high school, that's unbelievable, man. Like, Oh, my God. Literally a kid to a man. Between junior and senior year, you see some people, like, really change. No, but I mean, if you go back to freshman year, oh people, my, if they're dude, babies. Remember when, uh, like, you'd see a, like, you knew all these new people freshman year. Yeah. Remember when you'd see a kid that was, like, literally four feet tall or something? Yes. And you're like, what the, f- what? what? Yeah. Who the hell is that kid? Like, he's got to be like a, like a teacher's son. Yeah. And then, like, senior year, he's taller than you somehow. Yes. Like, what the hell? Yeah, man. 
That's weird. That's a weird, weird year. So many weird ass. Because kids. everybody else, you know, when we were growing up, especially now, not so much. It's a kind of the opposite. Like only seniors basically can drive. It feels like, whereas the when kid we, who could drive early. Yeah, but when we were in high school, <laughs> sophomore year, baby, from like the summer on to the rest of your career, everybody's driving. So freshman year is that weird in between year where you got to bum rides off people, ride with their older brother or sister, like beg some kid to take you somewhere that's older than you. Like, imagining me going up to you and Chiller when I was a freshman asking for a ride somewhere, that's absolutely terrifying. Really? Because it's just that 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 gap that's yeah, so, so unique of, like, you're in such different places, man. Like, that three years at that point is so different than being, like, 25 and 28. Some kids, some kids have the ability to act like that when they're younger. I don't get that at all. What do you mean? Like some, like, you know how some people freshman year would act, they would like feel older. They'd like know shit and like you just, they'd be, that was weird to me. I'm like, how do you know? What? Yeah. Superpower. Are we done with Hickory yet? Uh, I think we've been done with his <laughs> history with Hickory. What, what is the deal with that? What? That happened literally like four years ago. How is that still in rotation? With the uniforms? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, it's just, I, I never understood why people were like, yeah. I just know they wore them on Sunday and they got their ass kicked. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I mean, never really, I mean, I, I like it for a year. It was like, yeah. okay, I like the, I like I the different it. colors at least and not even that much different, but at least it's a little, a little something. And it was like the anniversary of the movie. So I was like, makes sense. Perfect. Put it in for this year. Here we are five years later, and it's one of their main alternates? What the <laughs> hell's going on? I don't know. How do they? How are they able to do it? I don't get it. I think there's just like enough 48 to 60-year-old white guys and moms who are just like- I think even they're who, like- Who oh. like it enough that the, the Pacers are just like, eh, we'll leave it in rotation. They like it. It'll save us some time and money not having to come up with something else. They really do like that movie, though. People love that damn movie. <laughs> oh, my God. People love that movie. That's what it is. What is it again? Hoosiers. <laughs> For sure. Like, yeah, like if you're born in, oh, you aren't born in Indiana, so I guess it makes sense. Like, you come out you come out of the womb with, like, a tenderloin in one hand and why the movie is Hoosiers. Is that re- new? I've been hearing nah, a lot a of tenderloin. Thing talk lately we should like make i a, think we're adopting tenderloin we should make a have we we should make a dating app for in, just indiana people called, called tenderloin loin, loin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give man. me a tenderloin that's the grossest like name for anything yeah one of those tenders make it real nice Tender. loin what's a loin loin know. cloth can you imagine those? That's a real thing. Lloyd Christmas? Loin. The part of the body on both sides of the spine between the lowest ribs and the hip bones. See, that's where it does make sense where it could be tender loin as a dating app because it's the region of the sexual organs, especially when regarded as a source of erotic and procreative power. Give Quote, me a, a really, I'm really hungry in a for sentence, a tender loin. He felt a stirring in his loins at the thought. You making my loins feel good. Tenderloin, there we go. Or just a loin. Just for Indiana people. Hoosiers who want to meet Hoosiers. Hop on loin. I need a fried loin. <laughs> Hop on loin. Hop on this loin. Hop on loin and find your lover. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to rate these chips or what? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Frito Lay hierarchy. Hold on, should we talk to Jimmy first? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Jimmy King. How you doing, brother? What's happening, man? Oh, my bad, dude. I said we, we'd uh, hit you up before we called, and we just straight up called your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. I was, I was a little confused about the one 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 number. Oh, That's what you yeah, see when dude. we call? <laughs> what's it, what's the number? It's literally just like one 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 one. Like a robot's calling his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Should have warned you about that. Sorry, man. What's up? What are you doing, Hello. man? You got uh you guys still in it, right? No? No, we actually just found out Sunday we didn't make the tournament, so uh oh, wow. just chilling. Just Whoops. Chilling. Wow. Dude, nice. Now, so. Nice research. 
Hey, hey did, you, did you say, Jimmy, did you say you're about to go out to eat with your dad? Yeah, here in a little bit, yeah. Where, where are you going? Wait, hold on. Uh, hold on. Wait, is, no, is no, wait. Like on the, which side of town? South side, for sure. Of course, south side God. Is it like a, like a sit-down restaurant or like fast casual? I think it's a sit-down place. I've never been to the place. Big Jim just likes a little new, uh, new place on south side, so I'm going to see what it's about. New place. What, what dude, do you think? just say Burger King. Come on. No, right dude. It's, te- it's Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> Why is it Texas Definitely Roadhouse? Texas that's, just Roadhouse. What I, that's just what I kind of feel. That, that's that's the, the move, I think. TRH? I think, it's some, I think it's a place called Campbell's or something. Campbell's? Oh, I know what you're going to. Yeah, it's a new bar. You've definitely been there, yeah. Joey. Jim's getting a meal. For, are you still afraid of your dad? Because I'm still kind of afraid of him. I definitely am when I'm playing basketball. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like against him, yeah. or just when he's in, in the, the front row? In the driveway? No, when he's in, when he's in the front row, for sure. Oh man! After the game, if I have a bad game, I'm definitely not going out to talk to him. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you hear him during the game? Does he say anything during the game? Oh yeah, you can definitely hear him. We always pick the right spots too. It's just dead quiet in the gym. You just hear him yelling. Him and Carsey. <laughs> does he? Top. Does he say stuff like to you? Like, does he have like a keyword or something? Uh, or like a not like, as much anymore. Not as much anymore. He definitely did like back in high school. What did he say? What did he say? What he say in high school? What was like his thing to like get you going uh, or something? It was it was it was always just. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> Can't go wrong with I mean, that. That was, always, that was always the thing. Did him and Coach Gerard ever get into it? No, he's actually good about that. He see in high school he used to sit front row and. uh now him and Carsey never sit down. They just stand at the very top of uh, the gym. So They have, like, their own section. Yeah. Yeah. King's Screaming quad. Section. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that probably is, like, a little <laughs> thing. King's in Corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they're just in thrones. <laughs> they're in yes. thrones. <laughs> for the senior year, Jimmy, I think we got to bring that out. That's not bad. Oh, for sure. <laughs> hey, for how sure. are you? So you had double hip. Did you have double hip surgery or what you? What? I did. Yeah, I had both of them done last year. So, so just new hips who dis when he walked in this year? Yep. How yep. how, how do they feel? Hit. They feel good, and yeah, they don't even hurt at all anymore, so. But, like, right after it was like, I, I can, that's got to be, like, the craziest surgery in, like, rehab ever, right? And they're 100% Yeah. Now? Oh, yeah, it was terrible. I couldn't, I mean, because what we did was we did my left one in the, and then, like, five or six weeks later, went back and got my right one done. So I could, about five weeks after my first one, I could start walking on it. And by the time I started walking, I went and got my right one done. And then, yeah, I mean, like, four or five months of rehab, and then by about six or seven, I was able to get back on the court and start playing a little bit. So, Did you ever think that you weren't going to be able to go out there and hoop again? Um, No, I mean, I definitely did my sophomore year when I was playing – I mean, after games and everything, practice, I couldn't move. I couldn't get out of my bed. I'd lay down for an hour and wake up and just be like, Jesus Christ, I couldn't couldn't move. Yeah, I remember Carsey telling me that, and I was like, jeez. So you couldn't walk for five weeks? Yeah. I mean, I was on crutches, but I couldn't put any weight on it. It's a little uh, tough situation for you and the lady friend there. (laughs) For sure. Five weeks off, that's – that's tough. Hey, Marion sure. was in the final. F- Marion just in the final four this past week. They got knocked out. Uh, what, what, what was like? Why were you like you and D ever Marion? Did you ever talk to Marion at all, or, or what, what was the deal with that? No, I never actually talked to Marion. Um, but I mean, they've gotten a lot better, I think, over the years. Actually, no, I did. I did talk to Marion. So I think I forget what his name was, but when I was coming in. They got a new head coach, and he was down at Evansville before. And I talked to him when he was down at Evansville, but I never talked to the uh, previous staff at Maryland. How so. do you like you, Indy, dude? Like the lifestyle? What's what's the most fried thing about you, Indy? The most fried thing about you, Indy? You know what I'm talking? Like just something you're just like, what? That's some you, Indy shit right there. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, there's just everything like that. Definitely. I mean. I think it goes with the south side, just driving around the campus, the outskirts of the campus. I mean, you just drive by the backyard and the front yard, and you're just like, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> all, all those houses that surround it, you're just like, what is <laughs> yeah. happening around here? 
how frequent how frequently do you go to Colonial Inn? You you regular that there? That is the worst, best worst. Spot. I'm not. I'm I'm definitely not a regular, but I make my pit stops for sure. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is that you place know? where you're like, I kind of have to go <laughs> if everybody's there. Like, oh, that's, exactly. That's a little a uh, karaoke. Dude, yeah, anything goes in there. You can bring oh, like pets sure. in there. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> like you can. I've never seen a pet in there, but I might have to. I might have to bring my pup in there in a little bit. <laughs> in a little bit, yeah. Like <laughs> yeah ten tonight. minutes. I'm gonna start my head. <laughs> spring right. break, you know, whatever. <laughs> exactly. Why aren't you going anywhere for spring break? Thought you'd be playing. <laughs> yeah, I mean we. <laughs> Sorry, we, man. We Christ, played on Sunday, dude. so I didn't have much time to. Uh, <laughs> Whoops! To yeah, couldn't really plan a f- an excursion <laughs> to Florida. Didn't know if you had a backup plan. You know, I was like, eh, January season's not going too hot, guys. Might have uh, PCB on backup. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good look right after the season. Yeah. <laughs> <Take> <laughs> so, have you ever been on spring break? Yeah, uh, yeah. The last two years, we didn't make time. Um, I mean, we kind of knew we weren't going to make them in the past few years, so uh, a couple of my buddies were just going down to Fort Lauderdale, so I kind of tagged along there. Fort Lauderdale is a place. I actually went on a trip down to Fort Lauderdale with UND basketball. I was the broadcaster for the team, and yeah. I went down there. Yeah, Jordan Lloyd God, that and all the so homies. Cool, Brennan McElroy. Oh, yeah. It was tight, uh-huh. man. Fort, La- Fort Lauderdale oh, yeah. was a lot of fun. Hey, we're doing um, we're doing a segment today on the show. It's just like best names because there's all these crazy names that are popping up, you know, like the coldest and uh, Rakia Sin and like NFL draft. I feel like there's always just these crazy ass names. Do you feel like your name is like a top five cool name? Like Jimmy King. Dude, you hold on. Your name's not even Jimmy, is it? Your real name? No, no, it's not. It's, it's James. You're a fake. What? That's the same thing. <laughs> Dude, how do you just come up with that though? Like that's yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> I have no idea. That's a nickname for James. Did you get to pick that? Or, like, were people just calling you Jimmy? How did that happen? No, I, since ever I uh, can remember, it's, ever, it's everybody been calling me uh, Jimmy. Dude, well, I mean, I always remember back in grade school, like, I remember distinctly being over at a buddy's house one time, and I think maybe, like, Carsey or somebody called from your house to his house, and those those old-school home phones that would have, like, yep. they would say who was calling. They everything. would say the last yeah. They would say the last name first, and so it would say, call yeah. from King <laughs> James. I was like, ah! Oh, shit, LeBron, what's up, dude? What's up, yeah. So your real name's James Charles <laughs> King Jr.? Yep, that's it. Sounds like an entree at Burger King. It's, it's definitely <laughs> royal as shit. Yeah, dude. Right, I was just going to say that. Royalty yeah. there. Prin- <laughs> Prince James. That could be a nickname. Yep. Are you cool with your Instagram <laughs> name? Uh, what is I mean, I Sorry, this is, what, this is just what we is. talk about on the show. Well, we, yeah, it's important to be able to brand yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, Jimmy King underscore 11. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Good number. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Good, he's in the game with Simple. Definitely oh, simple. Big number. Yeah. BP loves the yeah, number bar, 11. Yeah, at the bar, he says, what's your Instagram? He's so good. You don't him. I mean, that's an easy one to right. easy one to know. True. For sure. True. You dating anybody, yeah. Jimmy? Yeah, I am. I am. How's that going? You and you. Popping the question anytime soon? Stop, dude. Don't Def- people definitely like not. Did you, did you meet her at UND? Yeah, I did. Yep. Yep. At like the, what is that called? What's at that? Streets Grill. Streets Grill. <laughs> dude, well, hey, well, hey what's, your, what's your order at Streets Grill? What's your, what's your order at Streets Grill? <laughs> definitely chicken tenders yeah. with the fries. Maybe might switch it up with the uh, tater tots. Oh, do they have those? Have they always had yeah. those? Oh, yeah, for sure. Those little ranch packets that they'd get to, like the, they weren't packets, but they were like the little um, containers of the ranch. The little cup, so the little yeah. rectangle mm-hmm. cup. Yes, the rectangle cup, exactly. <laughs> hey, right. uh, okay, one more thing before we go. All right. We, we're going to need you to rank these chips, okay? Mm. All right. Here, it's the Frito-Lay, like, hierarchy, since you're All a king, right, since you're a king. Okay, here nice. we go. There's a lot here, so just picture these in your head, and then you got to rank them after. Maybe even write them down. You got a pen and paper. I hate it when people ask me oh that when I'm God. on the phone. I'm like, uh, uh. No, he does. This no. is important, though. Like, this is one of those things okay. you can probably remember. He's know. fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lay's Classic, Doritos right. Nacho Cheese, Cheetos, Fritos, Lay's Barbecue. In Doritos Cool Ranch, rank those chips. You said Lay's barbecue. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So there's Lay's Classic, Lay's Barbecue, Doritos Nacho Cheese, Doritos Cool Ranch, Cheetos, and Fritos. That's tough. Um, hey, you're on the you're on the spot, I man. I think we're definitely going to go worst is uh, the classic Lay's. Oh, number one. That's no, the worst. Oh, no, worst. The worst. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. whoa. Worst, worst, worst. Lay's classic worst. Wow. Um, wow. Then we'll go. <laughs> we'll go Fritos. Yeah, Fritos do suck. Fritos do suck. Why? Wow. Why is Cheetos that that far down? Just not a big Cheetos guy. It, it, I mean, the after I'm effects. A Cheetos, I'm a Cheetos tough kind of guy, but not a regular Cheetos. Kind of mm. guy. Yeah, Cheeto fingers too tough. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we'll go uh, Doritos Cool Ranch. Good, good. Doritos, good. nachos, and then Lay's barbecue. Lay's BBQ Damn. number one. That's Subway shit right there. As long That's as hot. hey, d- as long as uh, Cool Ranch isn't number one, we're we're good. Yeah, no. We're good. What is we're up good. with that? Everybody's obsession with I Cool Ranch. That's God. the most basic thing in the world. Ben said that was the last thing. Not the last thing. I just thought about it because our boy Joey Brunk. He's been uh, trying to get you on and everything, and then you sent that video. He pointed it out to us about how you dunked in practice or a game. New hips, you're trying to hips. get dripping or tripping on there. Definitely dripping. Oh, yeah. But for the love of love God, it. dude, I'm trying to get – we we're trying to get a bunch of people. We might have gotten Joey. I can't remember. But we need that express celebration afterwards oh, yeah. in the game, man. We need you I to know, do it. I, GLVC player of the week or the month or whatever it is. You get rolling again next year. We need it. Oh, uh, for sure. Just a little, well, just sure. hit a three and just take a quick sip and it's over. It's good. Sip. It's over. Maybe point at your dad after. And... <laughs> <laughs> How you like that shit? Up in the throne. <laughs> Bang. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. All right, yeah, dog. Hey. I will for sure. Uh, tell tell Big Jim we said hey, uh, and enjoy Chatham's or whatever the hell you guys are going to. And uh, he said, "What was it? I don't know." Chatham's. Cat- Campbell's. Campbell's. Campbell's Chunky. Colonial Inn, wherever the hell you guys are going. All right. (laughs) See you guys there. All right, dog. Later, man. (laughs) Peace. Jimmy King, man. Basically friends. More than friends. Fam. We're in love. (laughs) Jimmy King's been fam... Yeah, Since he's like oh five. He's like uh, first blood. Oh, that's how we should rank. Uh, yeah. That's how we should rank family. Definitely, he's blood. His sister, maybe not so much. Atodo, Jimmy though, definitely family. <laughs> His sister hates us. <laughs> ben and Joey, talk to him. Let's rank these MF chips. Chips, chips, chips with the chucks. All right, so Jimmy had. Worst to first, six to one. Fritos, Cheetos, Doritos, Cool Ranch, Doritos, regular Lay's barbecue. I don't know. I haven't thought about this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, I'll go first though. Okay. Because I know you know. You know you're more of a chip lord than me. Yeah. So I'm kind of really just munch on chips. I try not to, but munch yeah. on chips. You only, you only munch on chips. You, you munch, don't ever say munch. You munch or snack. You don't eat them. You munch or you snack. God damn. What? Almost threw up, dude. From badness? Yeah, just the word munch. Well, that's what you do with chips. Same munch I put in the same category as, and a kid said this to me when I was really little. Yeah. I'll just, he ate something, he goes, mmm, nummy. Num num, and he was so like a mama's boy. I was like, "Oh, why the? (laughs) Why am I sitting by your ass?" All right, what do you got? (laughs) All right, rank these chip chups. (laughs) Man, I don't know. I have no. I'm just looking at this list. Number one, chips. This means so much. I gotta go from worst. So Doritos Cool Ranch. How many are there? Six. Six. Doritos Cool Ranch is six. Okay. Because they're lame. You say they're lame? You just don't like they're the just, taste? You just don't like uh, they're just, just lame? Everything about it. Like, yeah. It's too That's much. That's some bad breath, dude. That's some... Yeah, it's horrible. Hits your ass. 
I don't like Fritos, but I, I I like what you can do with them. It's a factor. I know, man. Shit. Chip. I know, man. Chip. <laughs> I just don't know where. There we go. Cheetos. Um, when I think of these, I just think of those crunchy ones. So Cheetos is five for no, you? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just kind of going through them right now because I don't know. Okay, Cool Ranch is six. Yeah. Cool Ranch is six. Fritos is five. God damn. It's like someone has a gun to my head right now. Some tough calls, but you know, you just got to go. We need that it. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music in the background. All right, right let me pull it up here real quick. <laughs> Thank God. Finally, I can have more pressure on me. <laughs> here we go. Of course. God, every time YouTube just knows. <laughs> They're really excited. Okay. Thank finally. I can six think straight. Six cool ranch. I can think with Regis Philbin Philbin looking at me. Kind of falling asleep sometimes. Cool ranch, six. I've said that so many times. Fritos five. Oh, I hate that little riff, dude. I guess Cheetos is four. I'm an idiot. I'm lame. Uh, Lay's Classic is three. Lay's Barbecue is two, and Doritos Nacho Cheese is one. Why? Just because I've, I've had a moment with Doritos Nacho Cheese chips. What was it? I just, I'm so not a... I called those chips. You don't call those chips. I called them chips. They're Doritos. Yeah, you don't call. That's them. pretty dope when they're a chip, but they're just Doritos. Yep, that's when you know. That's pretty big. Um, I just had a moment. You know when you get hooked on them and you're like, damn, like this, this is it's going down. You like I don't care stop. right now. I don't care right now. No, you can't ever stop. And like the the finger, it, you don't feel that bad eating them. That's kind of you know, you don't feel that bad. Yep. And you can take like a stack, and you know they're just gonna crunch. I'm okay with that being number one. Uh, Lay's Classic, I don't know what to do with those. They're like invisible. But I did have a moment with those too, kind of. Yeah. When I, like, my uncle one time, I was eating, the, this might have been a dream I had like last night. Yeah. I was eating Lay's Classic with my uncle. Mm hmm And he was like, hey, only eat the folded ones. And I think this music was on after he said that. Those are more, they're, they're more tasty. They are. They pack a better punch, man. But I didn't know what to do with them, but yeah. I'm okay with that list. Doritos by the pool, summertime. Your mom or your mom, your friend's mom. What's with that? Why is out, that a thing? Brings out some snacks and then has a big old bag of regular Doritos. Not the ones that are light orange. I'm talking dark orange sometimes, Doritos. Baby. Sometimes uh, wet pruny hands in the Doritos bag. Kind of a little, little too much, too much going on in the bag. Yeah. Like it has its own ecosystem by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> There's like caterpillars in there. All right. Mine's not too much different from yours. Cool ranch. Too bad of breath. Too, too niche. It's not a, it's not a broad thing. Dude, it has to be cool too specific ranch. for cool ranch. Lay's bar or Fritos. If you five, like, if just you like you, if you like cool ranch Doritos, you've never had sex. There it is. Uh, Fritos, just like you, just cause you can do a lot with them, but just after you've had about four, you're like, God, so corn. Literally a corn chip. I, like, I get it. Lay's Barbecue next. Why? Why are those, like, kind of up there, you know? Hey, you know what it is? It's the black bag. That's what it is for the me. The black bag That's is what high. It is. The Dude. black bag is high, but you can eat... Like, they go with a lot. They go with hot dogs. They go with hamburgers. They go with a turkey sandwich. They go with peanut butter sandwich. Such a 4th of July chip. Yep. For sure. Um, you think they did that on purpose? The black bag? We would. I don't know if they did. Black and yellow? If the the, the regular lace? If the bag was, like, barbecue color, like brown like that, I don't pudding. think it'd go off as well. No. Off pudding. Brown. So yeah. Pudding, like yeah. real pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doritos 2. Lay's Classic one, because Doritos, Doritos to me again that's like something that's hardcore munching on them like got to be in the mood. Lay's Classic yeah I'll have a few. 
Plus, it's just it's it's the ultimate chip. It is the potato chip. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know cool. if it uh, if it. Okay, fine. <laughs> holy, holy chip! <laughs> Fuck you, chip man. And uh, <laughs> chip man, Jimmy Chipwood. Speaking of who's He's getting chippy in here. Yeah, he could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we keep doing that? No. All right, what uh, what do we want to get to next? St. Patty's this weekend? We have a little debate? Let's talk about it. Okay. St. Patrick's Day versus Halloween. Two kind of secondary, not kind of, they are. Two secondary holidays. Secondary. So Secondary. But still, something that a lot of people look and forward to. So, uh, like, they're so prominent, overblown. right? But they're secondary for sure. Yeah. Which one are you going with? St. Patrick's Day or Halloween? I'm going with Halloween because damn, uh, look at you just right making cusp, a decision. Dude. Yeah, making a decision. That's what I'm doing for Lent. I'm making, making decisions. decisions. I love it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because that, like, when you're a kid. Halloween. It's a thing. Halloween's the thing. It's it. It's better than Thanksgiving when you're a kid. I'll, yeah, and I think that, that means more than anything. Because when you're a kid, dude, I mean, you get to be stuff. Who cares about St. Patrick's Day when you're a kid? I was like, when I still don't know when it... I don't <laughs> know St. Patrick's Day. And it's so like, if you're an Irish person. Oh, yeah. And if you're not, people are like... Oh. If you really like St. Patrick's Day, you really like Doritos Cool Ranch. <laughs> That's all we're saying, all right? And it's pretty never, easy. And you've never had sex. I'm with you. I'm with you for sure. I think that's a closer argument currently, you know, at current state with how old everybody is and everything. St. Patty's and Halloween, they're very similar in terms of it's just like that weekend, bar crawls, parties, Everything you can imagine. Let's go. Let's drink. Day drink. Let's let's have a let's dress up. Let's get in green. Let's get in costumes. Green beer, dude. Right. Get but me, I I feel get like the hell out of here. With Halloween green beer. is great point by the kid about being a kid with Halloween. But also, Halloween to me is like okay, October first, it's on. We're watching Hall- we're watching Halloween movies, Halloween shows. You know when Halloween like, playlists. Like a little thing comes like October's Halloween. I couldn't like before this month I couldn't even tell you Saint P- I didn't even know. Right. Almost, yeah. And like Halloween people have decorations outside with like the big spiders, inflatable spiders and the fake spider who, webs. Who, and, who who made this debate? Anyway. Who's, who's decorating for St. Patrick's Day? I was just thinking about it because, you know, St. Patty's Day is this weekend and like I said, like your main holidays you got Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas Eve, um probably New Year's. You throwing- said Christmas and Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, they're separate. <laughs> they're 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 one thing, but they're they're also separate, you know? New Year's is probably in there just because it's like, okay, people are taking off around that time. You get days off. You don't get days off for St. Patrick's Day and Halloween. So they're in that next kind of category, and they're similar in terms of the party aspect and the drinking. And Halloween more is more lit. It is. Yeah. You got like, because you got, what am I going to be when you're a kid? Like, that's a, that's a thing. There's no prep for St. Patty's Day. And it's closer. In the patty. Gross. It's closer to, ho- it's closer to the holidays. When St. Patrick's Day is over, it's like, ah, I got to wait a little bit while until now until May, like spring fully comes on. After Halloween, it's basically Christmas. Let's go. Yeah. It's like holidays are here. It's on. St. Patty's Day is a complete reach. Wow. It is. You're not in on St. Patrick's Day. I'm not. When I was a kid and people yeah. were getting excited about St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, I'd always be like, why? St. Patrick's Day does nothing for a kid. Nothing. I don't, I was always so confused. People were telling me, like, "Kiss me, I'm Irish." I was, I was always like, "What are we doing?" I never understood it at all. Besides, like a slight hope that maybe your teacher will have a like a little candy bag for you on St. Patrick's Day. That's I it. I never even knew what day it was gonna be. Like, come on, what? still don't. March seventeenth, dude. Every year, never changes. Really? Seventeenth? No, I never knew ever. Huh. Um. Yeah, but sometimes in school you could wear green. I guess. Same. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day is the epitome. And I was always like, I don't have anything green. Mom, can we go to Galleons? Dicks? No. I need like- You're like, only going to wear it for a day. Right. 
<laughs> that never worked out. No. Can I get something? I got to get something. What are you going to get anyway? Like a four spy the day before? Yeah. And it's got to be under 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we were talking about back by Thanksgiving. St. Patrick's Day is the epitome of those holidays that humans literally create so and overblow so you don't kill yourself. That's every holiday, dude. So yeah. You don't kill yourself. As you get older and older. Yeah. Weekends. So you don't kill yourself. <laughs> Everything fun. Top golf? Hmm? Well, yeah. It's here so you don't blow your brains out. <laughs> and that's just a like cold hard fact. Any go kart track? Hmm. So you don't cut your wrist. <laughs> I mean, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Okay, I get those. So you don't jump off the Salesforce Tower. No, those are like a... Oh, you can't serp- jump off the Salesforce Tower. Christmas is coming up. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. thank God. Okay. Now I remember why I wasn't going to do that. Um, but St. Patrick's Day is totally just like, okay, this is the weekend. Get you through the week, baby. Let's go. Day drinking on Saturday. No. I want to see you on a pickled peddler on St. Patrick's oh my Day. God. <laughs> I'm doing one this Saturday. Let's go. You on the pickled peddler. I don't think I could or I really could. That's a, that's where it is with that. Because I'm all I do is make fun of those. So it'd be tough to really get on You're at the point of no one. return. Yeah. I'm at the point. <laughs> you've reached that. You've reached that, that line. If I get on one, it's pretty much, damn, it's hard. There's so much fake fun on those, though. You should be a driver of one of those. You'd be good at that. All the moms and bachelorette parties and every, like. Good tip. Yeah. You could do a little bit. You could do a little crowd work in there. That's a good idea. You know? Just ride around, warm weather. Bunch of forty six year old moms with their they're arms in the air. Just so much flab going on. Sending, so much triceps. They're they're just side to side sending tries. So many Snapchats to their college daughter of like, he's so cat. He's so cat. So much tricep on pickle peddlers, <laughs> dude. Just <laughs> so much, so chick much, next to her. So much short spiky hair and triceps. <laughs> in what song? Uh my but go my Girlfriend brings other boys to the yard. Their like is better than yours. Yeah, right. It's, it's better than yours. It's ain't you. But I'll have to jaw. Nah, 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 nah. That way, no, that the boys are wet. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, this is my favorite part. Warm it up. Nah, nah. <laughs> exactly, dude. So you already have it down. You'd be able to just clown with them. Yeah, and there's 86 million of them, too. That's something that's not going out of business. Okay, so Halloween though, we're both in we're both in agreement on that. St. Patrick's Day, eh? Can be okay. Go out there, have a little fun. Try not to wear something too annoyingly green. Just don't just go give out. Me, just give me a little subtle green. Just don't go out for St. Patrick's Day. Shock the world for once. <laughs> Shock the world. Staying in St. Patrick's Day, nah. Just watching. Uh, Always kind of bad weather. God, I don't remember a St. Patrick's Day that wasn't, man. Always bad weather. Yeah, a little bit of rain every year. It's like a cloudy, and you're like, damn, we're really trying hard to make this fun. That's all. Yo. That's what it seems like St. Patrick's Day is the whole time. We're really trying hard to make this fun. Like pretending that tomorrow. Dude, that's the, one of the worst Sundays ever. The day after St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Because you're like, man, I really tried hard to make that fun, and it wasn't. <laughs> Not inviting you to the St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> no, nah, I'll be all, sure. I'll act like it's fun, but. All right, what do you want to do next? And lie about it and stuff. <laughs> um, hey, what are the what are the hardest names you've ever heard in your life? Do you have any? <sighs> Got a few. And this was tough for me because they all kind of, I don't, I. it's tough to tell if it's because of who the person is or just because they have a cool ass name. So that just adds on to the fact that they're really dope too. Does yeah, that make sense? yeah, no, no, I know, what you, I know what you mean. How many do you have? I got a good amount. Some are fictional. I might have. Ooh, I might have uh, twenty. Yeah, I don't have twenty, but <laughs> but this is all like I think about. This is true. Yeah. 
What do you want to start? You got it. Okay. How see many? Where, see where we're going. Just one. We'll just one, right one, 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 one. We'll just keep going back and forth. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that fake? No, I don't think so. Damn, man. Yeah. Just everything about that. Just flows. Little letters, big letters. Makes sense. How about the little C in people's names? Yeah, I know. Where's that coming from? He has two of those, I think. No, he doesn't. Never mind. No, he's got the big C. He's got always, the little I. When I was a kid, I was like, I'm not writing that last name. I have no idea what that little C's doing. McCutcheon. McCoy. M, little C, big C. Like, why? Well, because if there were two big C's, that would look real funky. I mean, there's repeating letters and words. I like the little C. I was always so confused with that <laughs> as a kid. Like, how do you type that? Ugh. Yeah. I guess just... Tony like, Hawk. Is that fake? Couldn't have been anything else but a skateboard guy or a skater. Tony Hawk. Why did he always... even when Or he a pilot. Was, even when he was like uh, 18 years old, why do he look like 42? Yeah. He has been the same age for a while. He's like, yeah, I have like a 26-year-old son. And I'm like, huh? What did he even kind of do? I hate to ask that because he's like a legend. But like, did he have one thing that was like, oh! And but that, that game? Yeah, yeah, the really awesome skateboard game. Best skateboard game ever. The only, maybe. Could waste a lot of time doing Tony some Hawk. Half-pipe shit. He could be like a spy. Like, that could be a like a spy movie. Okay, go ahead. Giovanni Soto. God. Yeah. Names just pierce me sometimes. 2008 Rookie of the Year if for the you, Chicago Cubs. Like, that kind of person can't walk into, like, a place and be like, your name? And he's like, Giovanni Soto? You, everybody's looking at him. Like, trying to talk RC into Giovanni for a potential kid. There's a there's a geo there. Yeah, exactly. You got to pick. You got to name pretty. your kid. You got to pick. You got to already have a nickname in there. Yeah, thousand percent. It's like Vincenzo. It can be Vinny, Vince, Enzo, Enzo. That's tight. Names. Okay. Low key. Pontius Pilate. <laughs> Just condemned our Lord how, and Savior to die, but how cold, tight name. How cold is that name? Yeah. Kind of fake. You think? How good are the writers who came up with that? No shit. <laughs> they were Pilot? before their time. Pontius Pilate. How is a rap- How is that not like a receiver for Georgia? Yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean McDonough goes from Lil Jordan Humphrey. <laughs> Jake Fromm to Pontius Pilate. Dude, that, I can't wait for that to be somebody's name. Condemning you know, Auburn to death. Yeah, that should be somebody's name soon. That should be an athlete's name soon. You I, know how those like come back around? Yeah. How's that not a rapper's name, though, or something? Pilate. Yeah. First of all, but then Pontius. All right, keep going. This is the best This is the best day of my life. This is like my, can we do this on my birthday? Yeah, dude, for sure. Yes! You want to talk about names? A name off? Zion Williamson. Good, but uh, the last name needs some help, honestly. Last name's not great, but when you have a first name like that, that's just, I mean, he's Zion. Like, a Z. So marketable. Z. It punches you when you say, like, Zion. Yeah, and anybody that you don't have to say their last name ever to refer to him. So marketable. LeBron, Kobe, Zion. You got to say Michael Jordan. Sorry. Juju. I have Juju Smith Schuster on here. That's a sick name. That's an A1 name. He needs a change to just Juju on the back of his damn jersey. Anyways, that's off. But he's another one on the list. But Zion, like so marketable. Mount Zion, like that, that's a Nike I know. commercial. I know, I know. Who else is like that, though? You don't even need to say their last name. Prince. Seal. Prince. Madonna. So hard. Cher. Well, I mean, like normal people. Those are like aliens. <laughs> like athletes. It's just so much easier with one name. How about just, how about The Rock? It's not even his name, dude. <laughs> Saquon, he's probably to that point now. It's unique enough. He's probably over a million followers on Instagram. Like, you can say Saquon and your teacher would know what you're talking about. Your girlfriend's mom would know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, he's that guy. He's that cute guy with Eli Manning. One name. When you get to one name, it's over. It's when you know. Yeah. 
Richie Incognito. <laughs> like, are you serious? Fake ass. Going last through name. roll call. Chris Davis here. Somebody else here. Richie Incognito. You're like, damn. And then he's like, you can't see me because I'm incognito. <gasps> you know, incognito means hiding, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do. I know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> what, what? You didn't think. All right. Uh, uh, my turn? Yeah. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Fitzgerald always came off a little nerdish to me. That's like, I mean, that is a president. It literally is, but like John Fitzgerald Kennedy? Like, he couldn't have been a janitor. Hyphenated? I no. know. Some people just, their names. Fitzgerald's his middle name. But you know, having know, a having a president with an with an Instagram name, he so. could have just been at JF, just JFK. The and the initials. See, it's either hard. nicknames or initials. And RC gives me a hard time about this too because I'm like, oh, then it could be like, yeah. You know, and I live all, list off some initials that would be tight. That would be a good either one two three or just a one two. She's like, we're not naming our kid based off the initials that we can call him. I'm like, it's, you got to think about it. Dope though, when the kid like when you're younger and a kid's name is like DJ, you're like, damn. Oh yeah. Damn, <laughs> I, mean, huh? I know. Like, that kid's name D- ah! exactly because you know his name's like David James. You kind of DJ. Look, you kind of yep. You kind of look at your mom when she picks you up and you're like, you guys couldn't even. <laughs> you let me down. <laughs> DJ, that's sick. In second grade, DJ, you're like, oh, already a rapper. <laughs> already a rapper. You already got me. You already got me. <laughs> Daryl Strawberry. <sighs> like so dude, many commercials. Who, who doesn't like them already? Yeah, a lot of a lot of women did. That's for sure. I mean, the name is helping half as much. Strawberry's your last name. It's unreal. I've never heard of anybody else. That's like... It's fake. Yeah, that's my friend over there. Who, that guy? Joey? Yeah, Joey Pineapple. That'd be the equivalent. Sick. Yeah. You, everyone in the world would know who you were. Yeah. Joey Pineapple. That's his actual name. You want to bet? Pineapple. Maybe that should be your name. Daryl Strawberry. Wow. <laughs> Dude. On a jersey? Uh, uh. And it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's not like he just was a guy. Like, his last name is on stuff. Mm-hmm. And his back's always to the crowd, Strawberry. Like, dude. They know. Yeah. And it's a, they it's know. literally, it's the it's the number one fruit, kind of, right now, I think. Everybody loves strawberries. Who doesn't like strawberries? It's the, like, it's the NFL of fruit. Nice. Frank Sinatra. Sinatra? If you got a powerful last name like that, your first name is kind of a throwaway. But Frank's like... It fits. It rolls right into it. It's strong. Frank Sinatra. Don't you just think class? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love talking to, about names with people who know names. I name I name my kid Sinatra. First name. That's one of those. You don't need to say his first name. When you say Sinatra, you know. that's it. Old Blue Eyes. Like, I, I, when you have a last name and you're, you're so, your brand of a last name is so powerful... That you can name a baby, literally that name, that's big time. 50 years from now, I think I'd like to name my kid Polizzi. I get down. Honey, what do you think? Can we do Polizzi? Now. Oh, as a first name? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Kennedy. Mm. It's first name. Okay. Coco Crisp. Mm. What's going on there? Dude. That's that like a name that'll make you hungry. <laughs> how like, is he? How automatically want chocolate milk that's been in Coco Crispies. Yeah, it's kind of tough because like he's a good player, but he was never to the point to where like Cocoa Puffs would want to advertise with him. You know what I mean? Really? He wasn't that good. But yeah, that like, name. I know. But yeah, I think if he was named something else, I don't think he'd be that good. Is that just weird? No, no, 100%. Like LeBron James, again, Le- you don't know any LeBron James who are... In finance. Yes. 
<laughs> People that just started listening to this, why do they say fin? What, <laughs> what is that? All right. A couple more here for me. Han Solo. I mean, it's it's tough for me to get into that because it's such movie, but short. The, the last name Solo. I mean, let's change the game. Like you, when you hear that name, you immediately know, like cool, kind of outlaw. Like the last name Solo. Solo. Whoever thought of naming the character that? I wonder what that guy's name is. George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And following up, all off right, the, never mind. Following up, was... following up, following up off that Luke Skywalker. Oh, that shit is crazy to me. Wow. But like the cool thing about that is, if you knew, if you know somebody named Luke that can kind of jump high, yeah. it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. What are you calling him? Okay, OJ Mayo, <laughs> orange juice and mayonnaise. I mean, gross, one. gross combination. But just that, you're never forgetting that name. No. O.J. Mayo. Yeah. So tight. Even somebody who has no idea about basketball, who's the biggest, like, nerd who hated athletes, who wanted nothing Hate to do Mayo with high too, school. Hate Mayo, too, but he makes it sound good. But they're like, yeah, I went to school with O.J. Mayo. Ah, damn. Okay, I'm going to, I got to keep, I get, I'll get caught up, man. We could do this for literally four hours. Yeah. Um, Tommy Gunn with two N's. Who is that? I think that's a real person, but also in Rocky. Oh, yeah. There's a double letter, and one of the ends isn't small. It's not the beginning. doesn't matter. Apollo Creed. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That was, jeez. How come boxing, boxers get to, like, change their name to the coolest yeah, shit? That's that, true. Like, what is that? It's got to be marketable, man. That's all it is, is marketing. Wow. Didn't think about that. Yeah. Okay. There's a running back for Colorado when I was a kid and just used to watch stupid games on TV. Mm-hmm. Bobby Purify. Whoa. Uh, Chris Fuamatu Amalafala on the back of a jersey. Hell yeah. Tim Biaka Batuka. Uh, like oh. such a contrast from first and last name. <laughs> Biaka Batuka! <laughs> What's his first name? Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Can we... Like if if they were doing like we talked about with Jimmy, if they had the caller ID, last name to first name, call from Pakatikatipaikatuka. Right, you'd think his first name was some like the Tim. every letter of the alphabet. <laughs> no, it's Tim. <laughs> Victor Oladipo. Ah, uh, nice. Can you match your first name and last name? It's like wearing running shoes and jeans. <laughs> Victor, Victor Oladipo. Oladipo. It's like the sexiest last name of all time. Victor. Mike Vick. That's pretty good. Oof. Four and four. Uh-huh. Mike Vick. Yeah. Just, it's, yep. Antoine Randall L. Ooh. God nice. damn. Hell yeah. God damn. Hey, Priest Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful baby. What should we name him? <laughs> Dude, like, I just think of those parents like, <laughs> that motherfucker is a priest. <laughs> <laughs> like who's dad priest <laughs> he looked yeah yeah the kid probably too like yeah 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 dante cole pepper god <laughs> <laughs> like if it was dante pepper it'd be like mm, uh, kind of yeah. but dante <laughs> cole pepper just puts a little like Let's go. puts a little sauce uh-huh. on top and you're like okay puts yeah puts a little yeah, salt right. on top you, of the pepper they knew Tony Katz. <laughs> hey, uh, Evander Holyfield. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like what else? So boxer. Okay. There's a kid I coached at Cathedral's name was Austin Sup. S U P P. It was no, I think it was just S U P. No way, dude! I swear to God, there's two P's in there. And I'd always like he probably thought I was so weird. I'd be like, bro, your name. <laughs> I said that probably every day, and he's like, that's fucking sup. weird, coach. Sup, sup. Um, you got any more? Ty Streets, Michigan receiver. All right, 
That's it. There's more. Yeah, there's, there's plenty. More, there's more. Champ Bailey. I mean. Ooh. Ty Law. Huh. <laughs> Ty Law. How about the dudes who are, uh, there's defenders who have, like, the last name of, like, Locke or something. Yeah, they're just, like, locked down. Darius Slay. Ah. Oh. And Slay, like, became a word last year. Big play. Slay. 100%. All right, you want to do comment creeps to wrap this up? Yeah. We've been on the radio for like 15 hours. Mackenzie Roth. Better known as the spokeswoman for Andy Moore commercials. Better known as your dad's uh, <laughs> spank bank. <laughs> Dude, every dad. Your dad's doesn't background. Matter, I don't care who. If your dad got married six seconds ago, he's like, oh, I love that girl. That girl from Andy Moore. Andy Moore. What was I looking at? Which one? Oh, here we go. Okay. Mackenzie Roth. Andy Moore, spokesperson. Every dad in the USA. She is uh, in Florida. She's by the water. And she's laying down on her stomach. <laughs> and she got her booty in the air. In a bathing suit. You get the picture. Her caption is sunshine with a sun emoji in between each letter. Not bad. Fits onto one line. If it would have gone elsewhere, it if it would have been total suns, scrub. dot, dot, dot. Total, total skank. I'm out. If it went on the two lines. If it went, but it didn't. No, so complete, but complete babe. This is from M Hair 0001. Roll over, please. Oh. Three hard eye emojis. Let's see who liked that one. Oh, yeah. David Defina likes that one. And Tim Mori. Guess what Tim Mori's profile picture is? Um,. Sunglasses from a gas station and a goatee. <laughs> no, that's the dude before him, David Defina. The other dude is uh, that that weird blonde haired cartoon kid pissing on the the Patriots. Uh, logo. I hate that kid, I dude. Yeah, I hate it too. What's his name? So Whiteland. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that kid did go to Whiteland. This one from Timbo forty six M. What I would give. Wink emoji, the okay, like three finger emoji, and a kiss, just the lips. Oh my God. Could you imagine typing that and being like, huh, she'll feel this one? <laughs> Let's see what else we got here for Mackenzie Roth. <laughs> this grandpa dude has to be such a such a nineteen sixty two like way to hit on a chick. Jeff Earl. Seven. <laughs> That's such an old ass Jeff name. Jeff Earl Seven. This will literally get, guess again what this guy's profile picture is. Uh, he's sixty two. I don't know. I he's he's older. Mm, something is he wearing a polo? <laughs> no, you're. It's what you said earlier. Literally uh, is those glasses those from the sun. Yeah. Yep. With uh the the hardest goatee you've ever seen. Oh, the hardest. Yes. Oh. Just edge it up. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Speedway, give me those glasses on top of my monster and five-hour energy Snickers At the combo. register. Yeah, it's kind of steady. <laughs> Has 89 followers. Anyways, Jeff says, hubba, hubba, hubba. <laughs> and he drops the sunglass emoji on there, too. Sunglasses? The, the face with the sunglasses. Dude, that sunglass, that emoji is creepy. That's the creepiest emoji, the the one with the really? sunglasses. Why? Yeah, because it's like such an old guy. I think that's like the first like emoticon ever. Oh yeah, it is emoticon. Wow, the first like smiley face on the internet had sunglasses. True. And guys yeah. were like, eh. I'm playing Cause it cool. Emojis are for like I'm Mr. Cool. Emojis are for like sex stuff. And that one is like so cool guy. Like here, yeah. here, girl, let's relax. Uh -huh. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> let's relax. While my profile picture has sunglasses too. <laughs> I have tan lines from my sunglasses. They need to make an emoji with a goatee so bad. <laughs> I'd use it on every tweet. Every Edgewood dad, you know. They got 
They got tan lines from their sunglasses of being out at their kids' games all weekend. With a hard goatee, dude. When a dad has a hard, clean goatee, it's like, who the hell? Watch out. How much does that guy cuss? (laughs) How (laughs) How much Copenhagen does he chew? Dip. Dip in goatees. This is from... Saint, like a match made in heaven. This is from St. J68. Oh, my God! Five exclamation points. <laughs> you are so amazingly beautiful. Like you just Dash. saw it. Such like, a perfect body. Like you talk to text. I honestly think you are the most attractive woman on the planet. And since I doubt extraterrestrial females are attractive... I think I can safely say that you are the most visually stunning woman in the universe. Were there caps in there? Just the the. I honestly think that you are the most attractive woman on the planet. And since I doubt extraterrestrial females are attractive, I should probably know because I am one. Dude, that seems like a fake comment or something like that's what you'd say to somebody that's ugly <laughs> you know and then it'd be kind of funny kind of mean <laughs> kind of mean but kind of funny ugly people's pictures dude <laughs> the <laughs> extraterrestrials <laughs> this is from southern oh my god this is from <gasps> southern out not even southern Southern Outlaw. <laughs> he forgot the N. In his actual name, dude. And then pick your name that you want to be remembered by. Southern. <laughs> Southern Outlaw. His name's James Ferguson. Oh, I forgot the N, honey. <laughs> he said... <laughs> he just says... <laughs> a beautiful bum. <laughs> dude, Colin... Uh, and someone's ass a bum. Like that's always been that's always rubbed me the wrong way. A, a bum is like a guy who's out on the streets, dude, that you don't want to give money to. Bum. What a bum. And a clothing brand for some reason. Oh my god, I found the winner, dude. This is from J E H one one two seven two zero one three. Always a weird guy with a lot of numbers. His name's Eric. He's also on the goatee goatee train. He says to McKenzie, "Nice butt. You need <laughs> nice butt. You need someone to rub lotion on that. Just say the word. <laughs> nope, no. Nope. Her only respond yes. <laughs> no punctuation at all. Nice butt. You need someone to rub lotion. Weird space. Nice butt. You need someone to rub lotion. And there's a weird like." Space that you're like, okay, double space. On that, just say the word. It's like he was in traffic or something at yeah, like yeah, a yeah. red light and it turned green. He's like, oh, shit, I got to get this out real quick. Dude. Yeah, she just says, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, it worked. Rub lotion. That's about all it is for that one. So, Mackenzie Roth. Rough go for her. She really does pop off, though. Yeah. 32,000 followers on Instagram. Like, what a get for Andy Moore. Big you know? time. Keep the, Andy Moore kind of changed the game there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's too good, man. How about car dealership commercials? Like, they're just never going to change. Never. Like, no one's ever... Like, it's just always, like, kids. Come to Ray Skillman! Or, like... No, no, no. Pets. What? Or, like, ugly-ass sales assistant people. That's, that's what it is. They that use... Like, they use everybody in the store. Hey, and we're going to film our commercial, and then they got to memorize a couple lines, and then at the end, they're all waving. Dude, and why is the audio always fucked up? Or at the end, they're the all- The audio is always like a little different from the commercial before and after it. Yeah. So it's like- It's always lower. It's like, why can't you guys just pay for the- Like, why is the audio just on car dealership commercials so bad? At the end- they're either they're they're not waving. They're all saying something in unison. Come on out to Andy Moore. Kids in those commercials kill me. How often? Like how many times do you think they have to get get that done? Like have everybody do it again? Like how how many takes does it take for them to get that all in the same like unison? Or do you think they're just like all right? This is what we got to say. They get it. They have a couple people lingering behind. They're like whatever. It's amazing how they're all the same template, dude. Just like one, like the corniest PowerPoint graphics. One conglomerate dude, just like 
back in like 1963 when they first opened up a car dealership and had a commercial just like this is how it's going to work see we're going to have a, a blonde lady and she's going to be kind of hot and then we're going to have her say you know come on down and then our whole store is going to be waving and that's it and everybody's like okay works for us yeah. that's the formula is the lady do they date do they are they married to the to the head salesman guy or whatever that owns the place but or they Kinsey just- Roth isn't not that I know, but that's so funny though. You're right. Every single one. A weird like a dog in the passenger seat. <laughs> Ooh, that's our dog Rufus. Why is fucking whoops? Why is Rufus always the name of that dog? Every dog I see on TV, I'm like Rufus. Rufus. And they do like the Billy Madison, dude. Like where they get the dog to just open its mouth twice and they insert a line. Come on down to Andy Moore. <laughs> Rufus wants you to, too. Speak oh, for yourself, moron. Always the dumbest jingle in there. Hey, those are proven to work, man. Because they're so annoying. Yep. It's like our show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good so way annoying. to, you good thing to, to end on. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jimmy King was cool. Um, James King. James King, RHS, UND, legend, big time. Uh, watch us on YouTube. Take it in. Subscribe. We need it. We want it. So that'd be dope. Um, St. Patrick's Day. Halloween's better. Hope everybody has a fun one, though. You got Stay anything else? Stay in on St. Patrick's Day. That's all I got. All right, cool. Shot 59. All right, fam.